Welcome to the Pixel Point POS Front End Training Session. In this training, we'll be covering both table service and quick service functionality. You'll learn how to log in and out of the POS, navigate a full table service workflow, process quick orders, close transactions, cash out, and much more. By the end of the session, you'll be fully equipped to handle a variety of tasks with confidence. Let's get started. To log into the POS, select the Login button at the top right-hand corner. Enter your PIN number and select OK. At the prompt, please select Yes. If you need to log out of the POS, please hit the Log Out button on the bottom left-hand corner. Now that we've gone through logging in and out, let's get started with table service transactions. On this screen, you'll notice a floor plan which will allow you to open transactions to tables within the restaurant. On the top right-hand corner, there are sections which will allow you to flip between different areas of the floor plan. In addition to the floor plan, there is also a button for transaction view. This allows you to have a listing of all your open transactions by order details. We will now proceed with showing you transaction flow. Select a table that you would like to start a transaction with. At the prompt, select the number of customers you would like. This is very important for service flow later. If you need more than 9 guests, please select the greater than 9 symbol and then enter your number of customers and hit OK. Otherwise, just select the number of guests and hit OK. Now that we are in the table transaction, you will notice all of the product pages listed at the bottom of the screen. Select a page to open up new selectable products on the screen. If you notice yellow arrows on the page, it means that there are more items available on the page. If you scroll down, just hit the page again to scroll. On the top right hand corner of the screen, you will notice your order window with seats. Seats correspond with the number of customers you have selected. Seats will allow you to organize items that each customer has ordered and will be easier for sorting when it comes time for the customer to pay, including easy bill splitting. You can void seats if you selected the wrong amount of customers by highlighting the seat number in red and select void item. You can add another seat by selecting the seat button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Additionally, you will notice numbers from 1 to 6 on the screen. These are buttons to allow you to easily flip to the seat number of your choice for quicker ordering. Now that you understand the flow of the screen, let's get started on an order. We are going to start ringing in products and adding them to seats. As we select certain products, you will notice that some products have questions for cook type, sides, modifications, and suggested upsell items. Take a look at the min and max on the left-hand side of each question to determine if you have to select an option or not. Once you have fulfilled the requirements of each selection, select OK at the bottom to add to the order. I will be adding multiple items to show you different product workflows and examples. On each page, you should notice modification buttons. Modification buttons are a way of informing the kitchen of custom requirements to the order, such as removals of ingredients, add-ons, or a type mod to indicate a preference of the way the item is cooked or informing of an allergy. The type mod allows you to manually type in a customization rather than selecting a preset modification. It is best practice to add on the modification immediately below the main item. Otherwise, you can highlight the item and then add on the modification to it so that it will make sense to the kitchen.
you will notice all the items recently rung in have turquoise color. This is to indicate to the kitchen that the order has not yet been sent to the kitchen. Select the send button to send the order to the kitchen. You can also select leave table or log out to send the order as well. Once the order is sent, items will now appear as white, indicating that the order has been sent. If the items are white, you will now need to provide a reason code and supervisor access to void the items. The next section we will be covering is related to transaction features and functions. You can print the guest receipt on request at the bottom of the screen. Once this button is selected, you can select leave table. On the floor plan layout, you will notice that your table has turned green, indicating that the guest has received their receipt and is getting ready to pay. At the bottom of the screen, there is a quantity button. This will allow you to add in multiples of an item for quicker service by entering the multiple amount, selecting OK, and then highlighting the item. This feature can also be used in conjunction with the Void Item button as well. On the right side of the screen, there is a Label option. Label is useful for typing in a transaction note to allow for easier transaction identification such as name, phone number, or online order number. This will also print to old chit printers if enabled. If you go back to Transaction View, you will notice that your transaction will also include the label note. The reorder button on the screen allows you to easily select an item that was already ordered to be ordered again with all of the modifications previously. This allows for a much quicker reorder instead of selecting the item and going through the modification prompts. Void item allows you to delete an item on the transaction that was previously sent to the kitchen. When selected, you may be required to select a reason for the void and may require manager authorization. However, voiding an item that has not been sent to the kitchen yet, highlighted in turquoise color, will not require manager authorization or a reason code. We call this a pre-void. On the bottom right-hand side of the screen, there is a button that says Dine-In. This is a button that switches the sales type of the order, such as takeout, skip the dishes, Moby to go, etc. Depending on what you select, the sales type may change the pricing of the items to fit the platform and will also print the sales type to the kitchen. The Functions button includes other features within the transaction. You can select set hash of customers to change the customer count of the transaction. Transfer check will allow you to send this transaction to a different employee. Move table will allow you to change the current transaction to a different table. Simply select the new table number and hit leave table, and the transaction will move to the new table. Move items allows you to move a specific item to a different table without moving the whole transaction. Simply select the table number that you want to transfer the item to, highlight the item, and select in an empty area of the other check to move the item. If you use Move Table and select a table that is already in use, you will see a Join Table prompt on the screen. Once hitting Yes, both transactions will be merged together. Charge Gratuity button will allow you to add a percentage gratuity line on the transaction, typically used for large parties or large tables. Void Entire Check allows you to void the entire bill instead of voiding each item line by line. Split Checks will allow you to split the bill for guests. There are up to 99 splits that are available. You can select either a seat or an item and select an empty area on an empty split check to start a new split. If you select a seat, it will select all the items within that seat. If you leave the transaction after splitting, you will notice that there is a checkered look on the table, which indicates there is more than one split. If you go back into the table, you can add more items to a split by selecting Use Check above the split that you want, ring in the items, and then hit Leave Table to add it to the split. 
If you want to automatically split the check based on seeds, you can do this by selecting functions and select create split by seeding. If guests want to split items between each other, this is also available. Highlight the item in question, select the split items button at the bottom and highlight as many checks as you want to split the item to and select finish splitting. Now I will show you how to close a transaction. Select the finish button at the bottom of the screen which will bring you to the payment screen. If you need to apply a discount to the bill, select coupons and then select the applicable discount if required. Each discount will have its own structure, whether it be a manual percent or dollar discount, or a discount that automatically targets a certain percent to a specific item or category. When you are ready to tender, select the tender method on the right hand side and enter in the total amount. If it's a credit or debit payment and a tip is involved, please enter the total amount with tip. Once ready, select apply payment at the bottom right. You'll see a receipt print out, select apply again to complete the transaction. If the customer pays by cash, if you over tender, the system will tell you how much change is left over. The next topic we will be covering is related to standalone quick service transactions. Quick service is typically reserved for delivery orders, takeout orders, pickup orders, or tab. If they are not integrated, you must follow this video carefully. Start by using the correct login code for the quick service order you want to place. Select the correct sales type on the bottom right hand corner of the screen until it shows the correct method. Selecting the correct sales type will also ensure the kitchen understands what order to prepare is also important for sales tracking and will send in the correct delivery pricing as well. From here, ring in the order as needed. Lastly, select the label button to add in your delivery order number for easy tracking. When complete, just hit save check at the bottom and you can log out as needed. If you need to view your quick service orders, you can go to transaction view or get checked to see all of the orders under the number. If you need to prepare another order, simply select the quick order button on the bottom right hand corner and proceed as normal. To close orders, you will go into transaction view, highlight the order you wish to close, select use check, followed by the finish button and close as needed. Please refer to the earlier part of the video for a guide on how to close orders. The last topic we will be covering today is related to cash out procedures. To start, you will log in with your employee number at the main login screen. Once logged in, you will quickly ensure that all your transactions and tables are fully closed by checking the floor plan and checking transaction view. Once that is complete, select the Your Settings button at the bottom. On this screen, there is a Transfer All Checks button. In case you have guests still in the building and you need to leave, you can select this button and transfer all your open tables to another employee. To start cashing out procedures, select Cash Out and hit YES for Detailed, which will cash you out for the day and will print a cash out report as shown on the screen. The cash out report will show you a listing of every transaction completed, a totalizer for every payment method, all tips collected, all refunds and coupons used, product totals, and a summary at the bottom. The summary at the bottom is the most important piece as it will tell you the cash that you've made, your total card tips, also known as adjustments, and a final number for cash adjustments. The cash adjustments is the number you need to figure out how much you either owe or are owed. Once the cash out is complete, you must perform a clock out employee by hitting the clock out emp button. This step must be completed, otherwise your next working shift's cash out will be combined with today. Once both cash out and clock out are performed, you are now complete for the day.